In this video, I'm going to show you how to design this back to school t-shirt in under five minutes using Adobe Illustrator. So to get started, there's two fonts that you might want to download for this design. These are both free for commercial use and they're called Ontil and Coaster. And I will also leave a download link in the description below for these. And the second thing I'm going to use to create this design is this preset graphic from Vexels. Now I'll delete the text at the bottom because I don't need that. But basically, this is a really nice high quality back to school illustration of a unicorn and Vexels has got loads of these on the website. I will leave a link down below to them as well. They're my favorite place for getting pre-made tissue design graphics. So the first step to creating this design is coming up with a layout. And my idea here is that the unicorn could be on the right hand side with the text on the left because the unicorn is then looking at the text, which looks nicer than it being on its back, for example, like this. And also it creates quite a nice shape and balance layout. If we draw a rectangle around this, you can see um, once I've adjusted the text sizing a bit, it can be very balanced rather than having the text sort of underneath uh, this very thin illustration, which would look a lot less balanced. Sometimes it can be quite useful to keep a box like this on your artboard to help you laying out your design. And a quick tip here is selecting the box itself and then heading to view, guides and make guides. That way they're not getting in the way of you moving your stuff around and you can still see uh, whether you're sort of within the shape that you've created. So I'm now going to just scale this text and make it fit the box better and make sure it all looks balanced. Now that that's done, my next step is going to be selecting this text and heading to type, create outlines. And now I'll head over to object, envelope distort and click make with warp to give this text a bit of a nice wavy tilt. For that, I'm going to use the style wave and I will turn this bend down to just a small amount so it's not too over exaggerated and the text is still very readable. So maybe about 12%. And now I'm going to select this and head to object and click expand and then hit OK to expand this envelope distort. My next step is going to be filling in some of the white space right here because it does look a bit empty. So one quick tip for that is selecting the rectangle tool and drawing out just a simple square on your artboard. Then while having this selected, I'm going to head to effect, distort and transform, pucker and bloat. And if you turn this down with the preview selected, you can see it turns this shape into a bit of a star. Don't turn it down too far so these ends don't get too thin. But if you hit okay and turn this by 45 degrees, it creates a very nice shape that we can just duplicate a few times by having the shape selected, holding down Alt and then clicking and dragging down. I'm going to select these now and paste them over here onto the other side. And as we can see, we've now filled in the empty space with some nice looking suitable shapes. And all that's left now is to color these individual letters in to make them match the actual unicorn design better. For this, I'm going to select everything, make sure everything is expanded because these shapes weren't yet. And now now I'm going to use the eyedropper tool to quickly sample colors from the unicorn and paste them onto my letters. To do this, simply click when you see the color that you wish to select and then hold down Alt if you want to drop it onto another object. Now that this has been colored in, we can see that some of the letters are a bit hard to read and the style of the text doesn't fully match the unicorn design either. So to make it look more cohesive, we can give our text a stroke just like the unicorn right here in this dark green color. And to do that, just select both the words hello and grade as well as these little star symbols on the side group them all by hitting ctrl g and now you want to make sure you sample this dark green color from the unicorn's outline click onto this color field so you can copy the hex code and now by selecting this group of objects we can give it a stroke color over here click ok and you can turn the stroke width up at the top to make it fit the size of the actual outline of our unicorn. One last thing to do would be to fix the fact that these stars have very rough edges and to do that just click on them, head over to the stroke panel up here and then select where it says corners, select the middle options which makes the edges of those round. And there we go, we've quickly created a design that looks very cohesive like the text was meant to be together with the unicorn and we've got a very suitable design for the back to school month for a little girl who's just joined first grade. 
Now the cool thing about this design is that it is actually scalable because you can replace the word first with second, third, fourth and so on to target different grades. If you want to learn how to do that very quickly and efficiently then I recommend you check out this video next where I show you how to create a thousand designs in just one hour using Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm.